Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you all again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we have some new, we have a new face here. You oh. might, some of you guys might recognize him. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Five Five fam. Uh, my name is Jeremiah. Um, I'm from Atlanta, uh, Rise representative, you know, part of the Five Five. Yeah. Yes. And so now we have the official team. Yes. Yes. The official Five and now, Five team. Yes. And now we can all we can all say welcome to Five Five Arise Production, episode two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but happy to have Jeremiah here to hear his thoughts and everything. Um, you guys did such a great um response to our last episode on yes. culture shock it was absolutely amazing to hear all your comments yes. um especially you, when all the viewers yes especially especially one from um mo gamer he had an interesting thought um it reads as people are definitely defined by others in culture and how each culture conducts themselves as a group and even individual acts will result in how others within that culture are viewed. So mm -hmm. very insightful thought, very insightful thought, yes. Um, yes. If you wanna catch more about that episode, uh, definitely catch the first episode. Rewatch it, watch it for the first time, if we're catching you for the first time. Right. Let, let us know your thoughts. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Okay, well let's jump in. Oh, oh. Okay, so this week, what are we doing? As you guys <laughs> know, Five Five, we didn't want it to it to be like a little weekly check in for everyone. Um, we wanted a little a little Wednesday check in. Be like, hey guys, what's up? How you doing? How's your week going? <laughs> so if your week's good, put it in the chat. If your week's not so good, you can put that in the chat too. We'd love to hear how you all's weeks are going. Um, but today we have another check in question for this week. Uh, last week, as you guys know, we talked about how culture affects people. This week, we wanted to talk about failures. So the question this week is. How have you learned from your failures and how have they shaped you? Um, we think this topic is extremely important because success is really pushed and promoted um, growing up as you go through school, work or careers, all that stuff. But we think that failure is as vital to your journey and becoming who you are, um, just like successes. So today we wanted to take the time out to talk about our failures how they shaped us, but also have a little fun while we're at it. Yes, stress on the fun. I think <laughs> this learning experience called life should all be fun experiences. Um, I definitely, like, I learned so much more from my failures than my successes than I care to admit sometimes. But sometimes <laughs> you just, you have to fall down in order to get up stronger. Um, so for today, and I want you guys at home or wherever you're watching this in your, co in your home, in your car, at work, whatever, to grab some art supplies. I have mm -hmm. oil pastels here. What do, you, what do you guys have? She's fancy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just have some, I just have, I have some no markers. markers. <laughs> uh -huh. Can't go wrong with the Sharpie. You know? or like <laughs> Can't go wrong. And make sure we have a piece of paper. <laughs> yes, that's a big paper. <laughs> She's really fancy. I just got some printer paper. <laughs> no, we're good. Anything you get your hands on, then you can participate in this activity. You can take something to write with and something to write on. And we, while we talk about our failures and successes in our life, we are going to be drawing, I guess, the visual interpretation of whatever we're feeling while talking. Um, and so we want you guys to join in with us and so mm -hmm. we can explore our inner child a little bit, heal that inner child a little bit right. by getting to some supplies. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to, right. you know, no, I just wanted to encourage the audience to, you know, participate because, you know, failing in life is a part of life. The whole point is you have to, you know, keep going and things like that. We've all hit trials and tribulations and stuff. So just... 
Yeah. Yeah. Join in on the yeah. fun. He doesn't Very just want to be at home watching us draw. Like you guys are gonna get into it. <laughs> right. Right. And um and then we're gonna reveal at the end. But yes. let's uh let, let's jump in. Let's start drawing. Okay. Let's start drawing. This is kind of it's kind of hard to kind of just know where to start. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking about like what am I gonna draw? Like <laughs> a reference of my failure. Like what does that mean? Like right. What what does that look like? Um, but I'm excited to get into it and see what my mind uh comes up with and puts on this piece right. of paper. Uh <laughs> disclaimer, everyone, I am not an artist. I don't do this. I doodle. I scribble on pages when I'm bored. Um, so when we do the reveal, everyone be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Please be nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh my God. Watch, you, watch you upstage us. Oh no. <laughs> you do not have to worry about that. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeremiah. I cut you off. Yeah, no, I was just saying I'm, I'm nowhere near an artist like at all. Um, that That's gene true. really skipped me. Um, <laughs> maybe it'll go to my future children. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your, you know, failures are their, their successes. Exactly. Yeah. On exactly. theme. So that's great. Yeah, like that. All right. <laughs> uh, so mm -hmm. as we get into it, I guess we should kind of maybe start talking about our failures. Um, yeah. and how they've shaped us, um, big failures, small failures, whatever you guys can think of. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a hard thing to think about because you don't really like thinking about your failures sometimes. Yeah. Much less admitting it to a whole audience full of people. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like you guys don't need to know where I failed. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of hard, you know. Like which no, you want to say, you know? Right. Like, especially because this is like our parents could be watching. <laughs> <laughs> our siblings, like future nah, employers. Like... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, anyone, knows, anyone knows your failures is definitely your parents sure. or a sibling. Mm. Right. I feel like so? my siblings would know more than my parents, though. Really? Why? Yeah. Um, I guess I would just be more comfortable talking to them about, like, failing. Because you don't want to look like a failure in front of your parents, at least for me. Like, I don't want my parents to know I failed at something. I'd rather my siblings mm. know, because they can't judge me as much as my parents can. Mm. And I won't feel as bad <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about their opinion. Um uh, compared to my parents. Hmm. That's interesting. And I, I can relate to that, but I'm trying to explore why. Like, I definitely feel more comfortable talking to people and I, like, that are around my, like, everyday life, like, can, can, can relate to what I'm saying. So I think mm -hmm. more my siblings than my friends can right. understand where I was coming from than my, like, parents right yeah for sure maybe the relatability is a like a huge part of it and a huge factor in you know who you tell about your failures because you don't really think like your parents can relate to you but mm -hmm. people closer to your age can be like no I literally just went through that same thing the other day like you're good Whereas mm -hmm. your parents, mm -hmm. you know, they haven't gone through the things you've gone through since they were your age. So yes. it's yeah. harder for them to put themselves in your shoes, but it's harder for you to, like, understand that maybe your parents have been in your shoes before. And you know what? The older I get, the more I realize it. Like, I feel like in high school, I was not telling my parents my failure so readily, but now that I'm older, I it is a thing where it's like, oh, wait, maybe they do know a thing or two about mm. what I'm talking about. Like, it did take a while. Um, and I think a part of it was, too, was just seeing how much my parents have, like, sacrificed 
Mm-hmm. Um, for me to admit that I failed at something, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. it always hits harder than like yeah. them angry. It's like, oh, I'm disappointed. Like, oh my right. god, right? It's like, oh, 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 you sent it's me right painful. in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's painful. <laughs> it is. That's so true. That's so true. Like, part of it is like, um, it's knowing because. Your parents know, like they know you're what you're capable of. Like they, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes it's like being in Israel, you know, you we're we're held at a high standard because we, you know, we excel, but we're they're used to our parents are used to excellence. So it's like mm-hmm. always gotta go either, you know, go to the highest, you know, degree and things like that. So mm-hmm. I think a part, you know, you don't wanna let them down, but at the same mm-hmm. time. It's like, man, bro, I don't, I don't know if I have this too. Like, sometimes it's like, mm-hmm. you to some point, like, sometimes I'm gas, like, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired, like, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. like, yeah. I'm tired that's of trying so to be perfect. Weird. No, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I also, at least for me, one instance that this conversation is making me think about is when I was like last year in school. And I wasn't doing well in my classes. I didn't really like mess with or mesh with my major um, or the classes that I had to take for my major. And I was just thinking like, wow, like my parents are paying money for me to go to school. And here I am like feeling like I'm not really doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is like doing well in my classes, getting good grades, making sure like, that I'm a good student um Mm. and I had to have like that hard talk with my parents and talk to them about you know the fact that I've been failing and the fact that I may Mm. need to go down a different path than the one that we've been talking about for so long yeah um and to my my surprise they were like supportive (laughs) I didn't think not that I thought that they wouldn't be supportive I just thought that they'd be disappointed in the fact that I was switching gears um Mm. and changing the plan um Mm. but at the end of the day what they said is that they really cared about you know where I wanted to be and my happiness and whatever that means Mm -hmm. so I think that that conversation opened um my relationship with them in a way that allowed me to be able to have the hard talks as as much as the not so hard talks. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's really that's really powerful stuff. Like that sets the stage for everything else you're gonna talk to them about in the future. If they're so like open and accepting of something that you saw as a failure, but they're seeing it as more of an opportunity to show that, hey, like we trust you and like yeah. love you. We want you to succeed no matter what, you know, what field you're going in and what class you're taking. Right, exactly. So it it changed my perspective a bit about like them and how they see me, and it mm. allowed me to, um, you know, take that step with my own career, um, and my mm-hmm. own education, which felt really good. Wow, that's a, that's a good um, that's a good point you just brought up. I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like as we get older, you know, and I, I didn't. You know, as I get older, I'm realizing, like, man, my my mom's like right about all this, like, everything. <laughs> like, like you know, like, don't grow up too fast. You're not gonna like it. Things like that. Time is mm-hmm. by fast. Things like that. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. as life is, you know, smacking me in the face and giving me a two piece. Um, <laughs> like, you, you 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 learn to just not rely on your mom, but kind of ask for, you know, the guidance and, like, you know, mm-hmm. just some advice with, you know, life. Mm-hmm. They literally, you know, they're they're pros at, at, at this point, you know, so it's like, mm-hmm. all they want you to do, all your parents want you to do is at least open up, tell us what you're going through and stuff like that. And, right. Know, tell mm-hmm. a comedy, you know, whatever adjustments. Yeah. The whole point, I think, you know, the whole point is, you know, the fact that you're still trying, you're still moving forward. Mm. Like, mm. like, man, school is, school is, you know, 
killing me, right? Mm-hmm. But like, it's the yeah. fact that I'm still trying, and you're not giving right. up, you're not defeated, and things like that. So I think that's what mm-hmm. that's what makes the difference. Mm-hmm. I think that that's a good point. And I yeah. think that's a good point. And it, I think it took me actually being in a situation to actually see that. Um, yeah. Like, so I did not have a similar situation to you, Miriam, but it's similar in a way that it had to do with school. Mm-hmm. And depending on my parents to kind of get me through certain things. Mm-hmm. So I was pre med in, in, in all school most of my um, grad, like undergrad career. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've wanted to be a doctor since I was nine. So before mm-hmm. I even started middle school, I wanted to be a doctor. So I mm-hmm. knew going into college, I'm doing pre-med, science is my thing, whatever, whatever. And just going and taking those classes like biology and, <laughs> and chemistry, it just was so hard. Yeah. It was one of those... <laughs> It was like the most, like, I saw a lot of my friends drop like flies. Like, most mm-hmm. of my friends came in as pre med, but they yeah. all dropped, like, after the first year. Yeah, and I was like, that's you know literally what, what happened to me. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna prove to myself, if anything, just to show people that we could do this. Yeah. I'm gonna, we, we as in black people, right. I, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna continue. I wanna be a doctor since I was nine. I'm gonna continue to continue. Mm-hmm. Um, Lo and behold, that confidence and that need to like do well to that degree led me to my senior year, my last year. I mm. cheated on an exam. Oh no! Um, and it was during COVID, so everything was home and exams were home. Um, mm-hmm. I cheated on an exam, <clears throat> and I got that scary email. <gasps> oh two no! Weeks later. <laughs> saying hey your exam was flagged um oh, you know no. you had to appear before like a council student or yeah student oh, council goodness. you're at risk of like you know getting expelled suspended oh. or just failing the class um oh, gosh yeah and their last a- year like they're almost done yes Crazy. and i yes uh, I'm, I'm getting sweaty just thinking about this because it's such a traumatic. <laughs> I can only imagine. Oh yes. Um, and I had to prep. There's like a whole, there's like a whole caseload. Like you have to like have like a representative and your your you know evidence of people that can talk on your character. It was like actually like felt like a case. Wow. Um, and I just had to went in front of the student body, in front of like P- and teachers that I that I knew would be like, I'm sorry, I did this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the stress got to me. I wanted to be perfect, and yeah. I couldn't. And I, you know. Um, wow. And so that was just a hard thing to go to. But throughout the whole thing, I never heard once from my parents. Well, maybe a little bit, but not not as much as they usually do. Saying like, like coulda woulda shoulda sort of thing you know how they kind of make you be like you should have done this but like okay but i can't go back i can't yeah help me go forward help me go forward (laughs) (laughs) stop reminding me of it (laughs) um they were were very supportive they never said anything like i told you so or anything like that Mm. they were my backbone through this um Mm. that's good and yeah um so that happened Mm -hmm. and then the summer after that, so because this was on my record, I was like, I need to take a year off before applying to any medical school so I could actually try and do something with my life to kind of like combat that. Mm-hmm. Um, and just taking that year off has been the most transformative part of my adult life. Mm. Um, just being able to like look inside myself and like grow and try new things and work at stuff that I think I'm bad at and just take a break from school and not even have to worry about anything, even though it was mandated. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> but it turned out to be like the most transformative part of my school career. Mm. And that wouldn't have happened if I didn't make that awful, dreadful, regretful mistake. Mm. Um, 
And it just goes to show, like, maybe not every horrible thing has to turn out so horrible, you know? Right. Right. I think that's so great, Sarah. I think that the fact that you were able to get through a time like that, first of all, let's give all our parents a round of applause mm-hmm. <laughs> for everything they do. Let's give it up for the mm-hmm. parents in the chat. But mm-hmm. also, I think the fact that you were able to learn mm-hmm. from that experience about yourself and your relationship with your parents, like, I think mm-hmm. that that's a beautiful thing that success kind of isn't able to do. Because success, mm. to me, success doesn't make me look within myself as much as failure does. Mm. When I fail, like I'm able to look at my shortcomings and learn mm. from those. When in success, I'm like, yeah, I did that. Let's move on mm-hmm. to the next thing. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think that the great thing about failure is that you get to really learn about yourself. When ex- when mm. in success, you kind of learn about the people around you and their intentions. Mm. Um, and they see like, okay, these people are with me through success. But mm-hmm. also, like, this person's acting kind of different now that I am in the successful place. Mm-hmm. Or this person wasn't here when I wasn't successful. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so I think that success can teach you a lot about, like, the company you keep when failure teaches you about yourself and, mm-hmm. you know, how you respond to things and how you learn from things and how you grow. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I think mm. that also failure takes you down another path of like uh it puts you on a different um like avenue. Like um like you know how a failure may turn into a blessing in disguise or whatnot. I think mm-hmm. that I think that's what kinda happens a lot for me. Um like for me, uh I had somewhat of a Nah, not really. I didn't have a similar situation, but it was it was in school, and uh, I was taking like uh, comp comp sci. Mm-hmm. Um, that, was my, that was my first major, and you know, I, I really, really, really wanted to have that for myself, you know, but it just didn't work out because I, I I couldn't mm-hmm. do it. I wasn't mm-hmm. I wasn't that type of student to where I'd have to like sit down on the computer and just you know, code all day. I just can't. I just can't. It's just not me. But mm-hmm. I thought it was me. So, you know, I'm doing it. I'm done. I'm in the class. Teachers kind of, um, teacher kind of leaves us, you know, out to dry a lot. So I had to go to my friends and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. long story short, man, I ended up not, I ended up changing my, changing my, um, I ended up not doing good in that class and I changed my major like right after. Um, mm. to, to uh, film, and um, and it I, and this major works. It works out perfectly for me because I'm already kind of in that lane, and it, mm-hmm. with you know other avenues that I'm taking as well, as far as like YouTube and things like that. So it kind of mm-hmm. helps, you know, cultivate into a bigger dream of mine and things like that. Uh, mm. so I think in that way it was a blessing in disguise. Maybe I had to figure it out. Um, you know. A certain major wasn't made for me specifically, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, I like that point though about you know failures. Um, how you like you know we may we may get a success, we may get a W, and we may not like dwell on it. We just like hey, on to the next, and that's kind of the best attitude to have, I think. Mm-hmm. But, you know, once you get a because uh, once you're once you have a goal, right? You want to set your goal, and you have you have minor goals, smaller goals to get to reach that bigger goal. And I think once we make reach that bigger goal, we're 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 not celebrating for real. We're not celebrating because the journey's not over, right? Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, those failures stick with you because it puts you back to that drawing board, and it's like, mm-hmm. and it puts you back to that drawing board. And you want to train, you want to say, all right, so how did I how did I mess up this time? What can yeah, I do this mm-hmm. year? Um, you know, uh, what did I do last time that worked? Mm-hmm. I mess up somewhere, like you know, it really fits with you. And I think that's yeah, like it. 
Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I cut people off. That's what I do for a living. So just continue. No, I, well, I was just gonna say uh, <laughs> that I think that's more so like um, a trait that you have. That's like um, that. I think a lot of Israelites have that trait where it's like you know we want to know where we went wrong and we kind of want to fix it and go into the either way we're we're gonna figure out figure this out because there's always gonna be trials and tribulations no matter what. Mm-hmm. What's it? What's in hand, right? But yeah, you can you can uh, continue what you're about to say. Oh, I was gonna say I totally agree. And um, of course, when it's my turn, I forget what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, I was gonna say I in your inner anecdote, I loved how you didn't take like that one, I guess, framework of your life in that quote unquote failure with that and make it define you as a whole person. Like, I feel like I've seen a lot of people say, hey, I'm not good at this class. That means I must not be good at anything. Like, I'm not okay. smart. But mm-hmm. I really think we all have our own, like, avenues in which we succeed in. And we don't know that until we actually fail at something. Mm-hmm. And as long as we can dust ourselves mm-hmm. off and try something new and be honest with ourselves and be like, hey, maybe that just wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. Then we could actually mm-hmm. find, like, what clicks and what, you know, what, what we mesh with well. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm glad that you that you found that through that. Right, right. Yeah. I think that's so true. Like, I think a lot of the time, I, at least when I was growing up, I thought that failure was the be all end all. And mm-hmm. if I failed, like, oh my God, I can't do anything else. Like, <laughs> I have mm-hmm. to fix it, or I have to, mm-hmm. you know, I have to, I have to do it again. But, um try in a different way or I have to stick with that thing I can't move on to anything Mm -hmm. else I can't try to do anything else but Mm -hmm. something that I've learned especially through the past couple years of my life being in school is that like life is about change and adaptation and Mm -hmm. you have to be up to the times of change as much as Mm -hmm. the times of just coasting because or even more than the coasting times because the coasting times are easy like you're doing your thing you're in your groove but the second that change comes and disrupts that the little stream you have going like that's when you really Mm -hmm. figure out like okay what am I gonna do I need to figure this Mm -hmm. out what am I gonna do next um Mm -hmm. so I think that the great thing about you know failure is that it it forces you to do that um, mm-hmm. it forces to ask yourself those questions and forces you to see whether or not something is really for you or if you're doing mm-hmm. it for other people like what are you trying to do for yourself like um, at least with me and going back to changing my major and all that I had to sit down and really think about why I was in the major I was in in the first place like why did I want to do medicine did I want to do medicine for myself did I want to yes. do medicine um, because, like, that's what my family has, like, exposed to me since a young age. Like, why did I want to go into that field? And I realized, like, it wasn't so much for myself as it was for people around me. So I was like, you know what, mm-hmm. let me find something that I genuinely enjoy doing and mm-hmm. spending my time doing. And I have. And the feeling of being able to do that. Um, compared to the feeling that I had when I was going through the failure. Um, so amazing. <laughs> and the only way I could have gotten there is if I had failed. So, you know, failure, as hard as it is, because I'm not trying to discount the way it feels, <laughs> um, it can really set you on a path to success that you didn't even know you could unlock until you failed. Until you failed. Yes. And are um, we on? audience, <laughs> audience, <laughs> make sure you guys are, you know, uh, and uh, joining the conversation in the chat, um, putting in your experiences, um, talking about times in your life have, you know, brought you to success eventually, or if you're going through a time in your life right now where you're experiencing that failure, we definitely want to hear about you know you guys's point of view and your experiences i definitely agree i think the the best way to get through failures through a support group 
in a support mm. team and have people say, hey, like, I've been there and I got out of it. Mm-hmm. So if we could help at least just one person, you know, just get through troubles, then I feel like we've done our job. Exactly. So definitely share, give mm-hmm. advice to each other, right. be that support system. Help each other, be that community. Mm-hmm. Um, super, super, super important because you don't want to feel like you're going through your failures alone. Right. Um, Because that's what makes them feel, um, you know, alienating and even harder Mm -hmm. when you go through something alone. Mm -hmm. Our mind is is a crazy dark hole. It makes us, you know, (laughs) small failures just seem huge in our head. Right. One thing also, you know, that's um, that never fails as well is also, you know, prayer. Um, mm-hmm. You know, our God, um, something like that. You know, that really helps. You know, I mean, it's been it's it's been you know proven many many times through just testimonies through my aunties and things like that. And so, you know, it gets mm-hmm. us through those failures. It makes us like you know, like you know what? Yeah, I failed today, but we got tomorrow. I still got you know, mm-hmm. I still got, and I still got this Sabbath to you know well on what I need to do, what I need to do to, you know, push through that, so. Right, like Like having those moments to really meditate on what's happening and ask for guidance and ask for that bird's eye view. That's what I ask for, Mm -hmm. because I can get tunnel vision in what the failure, like I I need to see that this is more than what's happening right now. Right, Um, that's so true. Definitely. That's so true. How are you guys? Right, um, uh, how are your drawings going? <laughs> I think it's. I think I'm done. I'm just adding like little pieces. But okay. what about you guys? I think I'm getting down to my final touches. So <laughs> I think we. What I think you, we'll Jeremiah? be able to share soon. Um, no, it's, it's uh going. <laughs> you know, it's going. You know. It's going. <laughs> Listen, as 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 long as you you keep going, I think yeah. I think we'll be happy with our results. Right, as long as you like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I, I like it. You know, I like it. You know. I hope you guys in the audience are drawing, um, are are joining us in our activity. Um, we want to even see you guys' drawings if you can share them. I'm not sure how you can, but we'd love to see them. Um, we'd love to see them. Or even um, comment when we do our reveal, comment what you drew. Um, mm-hmm. We'd love to, you know, be able to shout out your wonderful works of art in the next episode. So, you know, don't be shy. Don't be not shy. We're artists here. <laughs> Yes. So. You know what? Maybe we'll um maybe we'll put an email in the uh in the chat if you yeah. wanted to send us your drawings. They could be featured on the next episode as a little highlight of of today. Mm-hmm. They could. That would be great. Yeah. Yes. That'd be so definitely. Great. Someone do that because we're putting our um we're being very vulnerable right now. Right. <laughs> Showing so. our our, <laughs> our drawings yeah. to you guys. <laughs> And sharing our failures. <laughs> sharing our failures. <laughs> vulnerable back. I right. invite you to. Exactly. We encourage it. You know, no, Please just do. a judgment free zone. No judgment. Here. Judgment free. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ready when you guys are. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. So. Oh, Jeremiah's putting his last touches. And his his an artiste. Okay, so okay, I think I'm putting my final touches and I am done and ready to share. So great. Oh, this is a fun all... activity. Yeah. Yes. I love the drawing. I think it's yes. so cool. Just to like um, I've read a lot that drawing helps with uh, drawing and coloring helps with mindfulness um, hmm. and staying focused on your task. 
especially like coloring inside the lines, um, a lot of the time helps you uh, with control and um, mm. making sure that, you know, you're staying on task. So this was good. This was really good. That's good. I know drawing could be therapeutic and we're talking and being vulnerable right now. So maybe we're healing some of that trauma we experienced. Right. During those, those times. <laughs> some of the trauma that failure brought upon us for sure. Yeah. Yep. All right. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Ooh. Who wants to go first? <laughs> so crazy. That's a crazy question. Um, Jeremiah, since you know Yay. it's your first episode, do you want to <laughs> yes. yeah. dive right in? You want to do uh, a drum I'm roll? Like, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> so you know, this is what I've driven. What I've driven. Okay, all right, so, um, this right here is a laptop, you know, computer, and then this is over here is like science, you know, so it's like. I didn't do well in that, you know, in that area. So it kind of, you know, took me to, you know, the drawing board where I was writing, you know, is this, you know, a loss? Is this a loss or is this a lesson? You know, so. Mm. I like that. that. Took me to like the camera, um, which is currently my, you know, my field of expertise where I'm at. So, mm. uh, yeah, this is like, you know, the, what, you know, describes me what my failure is. It doesn't define me, but um, I'm still working towards the goal. So I don't know. Right. If it's, yes. It's, it's, Claps no, for that's Jeremiah. great. Yes. I, like I love that loss or lesson. lesson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's so um, great. Yeah. I'm a fan. Good job, Jeremiah. You are an artist. Good job. <laughs> Okay, Sarah, you want to flip a coin? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go. I'll, I'll go next, and then okay. we'll save the best for last. Oh, okay. stop! It's not. It's not. <laughs> okay. Wow. So this is me during my little cheating scandal. Um, <laughs> when I was being judged by my peers and by my professors. Oh. Um, but there's look, there's light at the end of the rainbow because yes. I feel like I learned a lot and I um it made me the person I am today and so I can't be ashamed of that. Um, but yeah, if you can't tell, I'm like smiling a little bit. Like it wasn't happy. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I learned a lot from it. For sure, I Is love that. that. Hmm? Is that you on on the stand, like on the? Yeah. The, the the figurative stand, there was no stand. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I like that. I love the eyes. I think the eyes are yeah. like, you know, people watching, judging, talking. Yeah. It's just like, you know, you're able to overcome that and move mm -hmm. on. And you're smiling. So it's good. I'm smiling. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Thank you. Class for Sarah. <laughs> class for Sarah. Okay, it's my turn. Please do that. <laughs> okay, so this is Woo! my drawing. Oh, let me do it this way. So these are my little, this is me. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> this is me. And these are all of my trees. Um, my trees represent um, just all the work and time that it took to get me where I am today. And then mm -hmm. I had the little trees on the bottom and the little trees mm. here showing that I'm still growing, I'm still budding, mm. I'm still learning, but I'm surrounded by the trees that have gotten me here. And of course mm -hmm. the sun and the birds are just like aesthetic purposes. <laughs> 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 but the trees are representative of, you know, what it took to get here, what it took for me to grow and the fact that I'm still growing, I'm still learning. And I am trying to enjoy every second of it. So, yeah. I love that. I love that. Round of applause, Miriam. Thank you. Thank you. The greenery you. was so eye catching. And I, 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 I get the, the visual. I get the yeah. visual a lot. Yeah. I, I like yours a lot because it really makes sense. Because it's like the, the big trees are big and full. I think of like, you know, other peers or other, my, like, other, like my parents or things like that. You know, it's, I, I like it, I like it. 
Thank you. Yay, good job, guys. Round applause for all of us. Yes. And also, (laughs) people in the chat, make sure to put your drawings in the chat. We want to know what you drew. Even if you want to put a little meaning next to what you drew, we want to know what it means to you. Uh, And Mm -hmm. we really hope you enjoyed this episode and this activity. I sure had a lot of fun talking and drawing. So, absolutely. Me too. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. It, it was the perfect check-in for this week. I feel like I needed this. Yeah, yeah a little break from everything to color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll catch you next time on the next check-in with FiFi. Um, and yeah. Yeah, thanks Happy for to... joining. Thanks for joining. Bye, everyone.